Well, Canadian wildfires reaching New York City was number one in world news yesterday. And after a little bit of digging, I got suspicious, mainly because there were so many videos, pictures, and news articles talking about New York City and the surrounding areas where the pollution was bad, New Jersey, as opposed to the actual fires in Canada. And when I went to search for those fires, I couldn't find any. We'll get into that a little later. But the government had no regard for our safety whatsoever. We know these meteorologists love to watch the weather like hawks, like hawks. Yet there was no warning whatsoever. If there were fires in Canada and smoke was traveling over to New York, wouldn't there have been like people calling emergency lines and we could have been warned a few hours prior to it happening? Not like when we're in the middle of it, like one day in, they start telling us safety precautions. And the one time I've ever worn a mask in these past three years of nonsense was today, yet they weren't telling us to wear masks. It is absolutely comical. It's comical. It's comical. So that first thing I said is the main thing. You know, I'm trying to find pictures of these actual fires in Canada. And even when you look at world news and Canadian news, they're still showing pictures of just cities. And anytime they did show a clip of a fire, it's just like some B-roll or some old generic wildfire footage or just like a satellite image. There, there's no actual video proof or pictures of, of these fires which is absolutely insane to me it's just look pictures of new york city satellite images pictures of the city pictures of new york city it doesn't make any sense now even if you go to google images there's nothing concrete you know people are posting all this live footage and instagram and tiktok of the new york city skyline in new york but we're not seeing any of that from canada we're not seeing any of it it doesn't make any sense whatsoever there's just so little actual focus on where these fires are coming from and why would they hide that we just see this image over and over again of where the fires are allegedly occurring and where the air quality is spreading but if this is telling us hey the air quality up here upstate new york is bad how come now it's only just super bad in the city you know new york city is by far and the surrounding areas are way worse even down here in philadelphia it's just the worst air quality is concentrated around the higher population zones all that aside, is it even possible for a fire to travel that far and, and do that to New York City? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, the main thing that got me was, you know, when I was outside, I wasn't smelling campfire. I wasn't smelling burning wood. It was like a weird chemical fire smell. You know, it, it was almost artificial. And I, I just don't believe that a natural wild like isn't the smoke gonna go into the atmosphere how powerful does the wind have to be in like half of canada would have to be burned down for that much smoke to be pulled over by the wind and there should be pictures if not now live from either helicopters or drones or firefighting crews like the journalists going with them if there were any we should see pictures of half of freaking canada burning if that much smoke was able to engulf new york city and if not okay what's the aftermath Whereas all these forests and these whatever alleged amounts of acres they're claiming burned down. It, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, I posted a TikTok earlier and someone in Toronto was saying they didn't even know about the fire. So it, it's hard It's hard to say what's actually going on. It's hard to say what's actually going on. And uh, there are a few topics on Reddit that I saw that kind of opened me up to this. This guy's saying it's environmental terrorism. The smoke here in Buffalo, New York was the worst this morning. It's the first time that I've been able to smell the smoke and the skies you can actually see white smoke. Most of the time it smells like a campfire, but it has a hint of burnt plastic. It smells like burning plastic, guys. Like burning wildfires are not supposed to smell like plastic. This is sounding like the, the snow in Texas that doesn't melt, huh? The thing that gets me, ordinarily a storm couldn't sit here for more than a day here in New England. People are also reporting it in Virginia. Seems kind of odd smoke could get that far considering normal wind patterns. Yeah, it's... It's very, very strange, to say the least. Remember those strange balloons from a few months back? Remember how that one that was shot down had a payload the size of three full-size school buses? Could those balloons have been dropping devices all across northern Canada? You need to ask yourself why the balloon needed a pay I mean, 
the, the point is something fishy is obviously going on. You know, a natural wildfire w would not have done this. Even if the entirety of the forest in New Jersey were burning, the wind isn't going to blow the smoke to New York City and create an orange sky looking like Mexico. It's crazy. This is not something that's ever happened basically in like the history of the United States in New York. Like you got 60, 70 year old people saying that they've never seen stuff like this in their life. You got these lifetime Canadians that have never seen stuff like this in their life. This is not something normal. And the news and media is trying to paint it as something normal. Because anytime they mention a story, it's like New York smog caused by Canadian wildfires. They have to say it's Canadian wildfires because they're trying to ingrain in your head that Canadian wildfires are what caused this. But it smells like chemicals. I burn wood in the winter and it's nothing like it. This is how does smoke even it, it, there's too many holes in this. How does smoke even travel hundreds of miles? You know, it doesn't make any sense. And watching these people and shills try to explain that it's normal is ridiculous. Yeah, and this is it. Why are there so many smog live feeds, but I haven't seen a single live feed on the actual fires? <laughs> this is the dumbest argument. Where the smog is, there are 8 million people in the headquarters of every major news network. Where the fire is, A, eh? there are bears, A. Eh? Bears are notoriously bad cameramen, A. Eh? They're acting like there's not crews of firemen and like journalists covering it. It's because it's not actually happening. There's no, there's, you, again, you, I feel like you'd have to burn half of the Canadian forest down to get enough smoke that can be pulled by the wind into New York. Uh, okay, the excuse is that with all the modern technology and phones now, no one in Canada has a phone to film it. It's ridiculous. This is what I, I've been saying a lot. Like, they control all the media, and the detach between countries is ridiculous. If someone's in Russia, if someone's in China, if someone's in any other country, you will never know what's going on ever. Ever, unless you're there and seeing what's happening, you can't take anything as truth. We saw what happened over the past few years with you know what. People didn't even leave their apartments in New York City to see what was going on outside their doors. They were scared. The control of the media and the fact that there's no connection between real Americans and real Canadian people, that divide is why they're able to scare people and pull off these ridiculous bullshit stunts. It's insane. Reading these shill comments is so ridiculous. They're trying to justify why they can't do live streams of the fire. What do you mean? There's thousands and thousands and thousands of live streams of what's going on in New York. Huh? If it was actually happening, there would be people filming it. Okay? New evacuations and burn bans nearby creek largest wild plans community are Yeah, I mean they have they have they can have so much fake footage we need to see real live stuff like it, it's ridiculous there's thousands and thousands and thousands of live videos of what's going on in new york why can't we get one live footage of these fires and why can't we get drone and helicopter images of the fire smoke traveling down to new york i'm not asking for anything crazy i just want them to prove with images what they're telling us in all these news stories it's it's insane now i almost forgot to put this in here but there's videos on TikTok of helicopters setting fire to the forest and this is allegedly called a backfire where they intentionally burn parts of the forest so that houses don't burn or whatever. But, you know, who knows when this footage was taken? And, and that's nonsensical. You can't light a fire intentionally. That's not a controlled burn. They're just lighting trees up. So it's all really, really sketchy. And the reason I made this video and I felt like I needed to speak up about this is because it's really making a lot of people sick. It's horrible. I was outside just for an hour earlier. I had a migraine. Thankfully, I have all these filters in my apartment and I can breathe and I feel better now, but it's crazy. It's crazy. This level of air quality is, you know, three, four, five hundred. It's dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. Everyone's going to get a migraine. Everyone's going to feel like shit. Who knows how long uh, it'll take some people to recover from. It's crazy. And back to the no warnings and the government not really caring and not really telling people. To, it's obvious they wanted this to happen and to have this like apocalyptic dystopian nonsense go on. You know, they were real quick to get people to put masks on when it didn't really matter. And now that people are like destroying their lungs, they're like, oh, hold on. We didn't know. We didn't know. Yeah. As if they don't know when there's going to be a drop of rain on my nuts four months from now, yet they couldn't warn us about this. It's crazy. This has happened over and over and over again. They always do the fear porn with the storms and the, and the stuff that doesn't matter. And then when something really bad is actually about to happen, like those crazy floods that happened in New York last year that I did a video on where people were dying in their freaking basements 
which was disgusting and just swept under the rug in the news. That type of rain got no warning. This got no warning. So you know whenever something ridiculous is about to happen, these rats aren't going to say anything because it's all part of their fucking cycle plan. Anyway, that's my rant for today, guys. But it just doesn't add up, dude. How can How much of Canada has to burn for smoke to cover the area of New York City, right? Arguably, for that much smoke to come, I mean, there's got to be some type of expert that, that practices smoke. But, you know, you have an area of several square miles, you know, that's pretty big that is completely covered in, uh, in smoke. So for that volume of smoke to float over here, wouldn't the area in Canada have to be somewhat equivalent of that many square miles and for it to be concentrated? So, you know... Until I see live drone or helicopter images of this fire, which we'll never probably get, I won't believe it. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you do want to support me, you can go to frank com to check out all of my interesting businesses. I uh, didn't realize how big this was going to get yesterday when I made that little video. I didn't realize how big of a deal it was going to be. But it is. Uh, as usual, if you guys could please drop a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell so I can see you guys soon.